Things are looking up for me in this department. This year I did have my first significant same-gender relationship. Thank you! I know first seems surprising because I am dressed like I own a softball team. <laughs> you know, but I'm just trying to earn it. <laughs> I, I'm overcompensating, that's what I'm saying. No, it's, I, and it wasn't, it wasn't for lack of wanting to be in a same gender relationship prior to that. I just, I haven't always pursued dating women, but just for the same reason that I never learned to play the ukulele. Someone told me I'd have to cut my nails. Yeah. No dice. Actually, I told that joke recently. And there's a queer angel up front, right? There, just like tonight. Just like a beautiful queer angel up front. And when I said that, I didn't cut my nails. Just off the hip, they were like, just three! <laughs> right? Mind blow! Game changed! <laughs> but as if they had been delivered specifically to give me that message, that's how much agency they spoke with. <laughs> Another person spoke up, but she seemed very surprised that that happened. So Queer Angel, just three. This other gal up front, which three? <laughs> no! And me without my PowerPoint. <laughs> I do wear these very long, some would say severe, Fingernails, what am I afraid of, love? <laughs> Probably. But people comment on my hands quite often, which I understand, they're very beautiful. I also have very dainty ankles. I imagine like turn of the century, Jane Austen era would have really been mine to shine. As it is, I mostly have compliments from cashiers to live for. But when people talk about my hands, they will very often say something like, I would love to wear long nails, but I just can't because I use my hands too much. <laughs> and then I have to stare at them like a child empress. <laughs> Your hair. I never! <laughs> and ironically, having these long nails, the only thing it does make just a little bit more difficult is picking up loose change off the ground. <laughs> you gotta go in like chopstick style <laughs> or like wedge it against a shoe. <laughs> So if I ever drop coin, I have to just act like I'm above it. <laughs> Is there anyone here who uses their hands <laughs> like a common popper? 